We would be honored if you would join us. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Bonus Points Episode 84. I'm one of your hosts here today, Roger Bercorny, also known as at Roger Foreman on the internet. And as always, I'm joined by the greatest co-host a man can ever ask for, the one, the only, at Caleb underscore talks on the internet, Caleb Scythomel. How you doing, Caleb? I'm doing great, Roger. How are you? Sipping on that lean. Yeah? No. I you wish. wish you were? Oh, okay, okay. okay. Eh, I mean, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna out people, but I've heard of I've heard of some people that I may or may not have like close relationships with. Yeah, that yeah that you have might associate that have with some people that that I might associate with sometimes. Um, some close friends I would I, I might even go as far to say that have um, apparently done uh, uh sipped on uh, on uh, the lean. Mm -hmm. Um, and I immediately when I heard that I broke out in laughter. Because yeah. I found that because we're all a bunch of white kids and like uh -huh. and I understand I'm brown I'm half whatever but all of my <laughs> friends are white like uh -huh. I have a friend that is that is fully like his parents are both um I think uh, they're from they're from they're um, Muslim like you know they're mm -hmm. they're not they're not they're not white they're brown mm -hmm. and he is white you know what I mean like yeah. he is a white I, person I, I, yeah, or, he grew up with white people. You know what I mean? Like, I like I think he is very. He's not in touch with that side of himself. He is very much a white human being. Uh huh. And as soon as I'm not saying that he did this, I'm, I'm just saying in general. Like I, I don't even know who did this really. Yeah. But right. I heard that I'm like, like yeah, he's he, he they, they sip some lean. I laughed out loud because that's some rapper shit. That's some shit that like. That's some stuff that Rick Ross does, you know what I mean? While, like, hitting yeah. his, you know, like, beating someone. Like, that's some <laughs> stuff that, what's his face? Like, Riff Raff sips on while he's, you know, just an underwhelming artist. You know, it's yeah. things like that. Like, I don't know. Like, who sips on, like, who sips on sips with a real human being? Like, yeah, <laughs> like your cartoon characters. Like, 21 Savage and Little <laughs> Wayne drink lean. Not white yeah. boys from the suburbs. Like, God, it, it just, it did, I wasn't upset with it, I don't care, like, you guys do whatever you want to do, but I thought that shit was just funny, like, that's stuff funny, Yeah. it's just stupid, it's just dumb, like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, I mean, you ever, hey. You ever read the Raw Doll book, uh, George's Marvelous Medicine? Oh, I thought you were going to say you ever read the doll, uh, the Ron Doll book, uh, um, you know, Sipping on Lean. I was like, <laughs> I haven't heard that I one, but. Pretty much, uh, I don't know, it just makes me think of that. But, um, every once in a while, I'm like, you know what? Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I should, this will be the episode that I show my parents. Yeah, yeah, you know? every day. The, yeah, it's like, you know, maybe I can show this episode Sit to down. my parents. Sit down. No. Yeah, really. It, but then you have to open it up and be like, yeah, lean. Yeah, but I'm not drinking it, though. Come on, I'm drinking coffee. Know, Look at I that. Know. It's it's a lot of cream in it, though. Do you, do you ever talk to people about the podcast? Uh, occasionally. Uh, yeah. I talk to my girlfriend a lot about it, about it a lot. Yeah. Um, I talk more about my other videos because uh, I'm disappointed yeah. in you, Caleb, for sure. It, it's understandable. Um, so I, like, so I was on vacation. Mm -hmm. There's a wedding. Um, people go to this wedding, but it, it was really <laughs> hopefully you, you like to think. Uh, it mm -hmm. was at like this. So the wedding was held. It was like kind of over like a four day period. They invited sure. all, all of our family because. Almost everybody lives in Arizona, at least mm -hmm. on, like, the bride side of the the family. Sure. And so she invited, like, a lot of the close family and everything um, out to where they live in North Carolina at this, like, kind of camp resort sort of place. Oh, and it's we one of these there. weddings. Yeah, we stayed there for, like, four days, and then, like, mm -hmm. they had the wedding on the third day or whatever. But then there are a lot of people there that you don't know. And stuff like that. Yeah. And so I, I was there with my grandparents. My parents flew out and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. it, it was a good time. But then, Fun. so when I'm talking to people with my grandparents, they like mm -hmm. to bring up the podcast or whatever. And so uh -huh. we're sitting down, uh, my grandmother and I, and we're talking to this girl, this woman. Um, was she young? Uh, she's a few years older than me. Was she hot? She, it, she, she's very attractive. Yes. Is she blood related to you? Because I mean, I, no, I, no. Okay, go, it's go, not one. Say. No, no. But it's not one of the one of these situations. She, she's like, I'm pretty positive she's like nine years older than me. Regardless, I like, but still. I, I, yeah. Regardless, I was 
Dang it, Roger. I, I was going to send this episode to her and be like, hey, check it out. Because I, <laughs> you didn't let me you didn't let me finish my story. Dang it. Um, I'm just asking. I don't know. See, I okay, I'm trying to anticipate the story. And I know you. You're a player. So I didn't know no. you were going to put the moves on this chick. No. 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 You didn't let me finish the story. I wasn't trying to be sexist, Caleb. I was just trying to say, because I know you. You're a player. I hear the stories. Caleb Fine, no story. Caleb no. Fine messages me. Caleb Fine, for everyone that doesn't know, is uh, is Caleb's best friend or one of his best friends. Uh, yeah, one of my best friends. But, yeah, friend. Caleb, Caleb Fine messages me every day, and he messages me. He's like, yo, Caleb's backing up some chick. And I'm like, Caleb, they're just trying to be your friends? You know that's some bull crap. Like, I know. every time I text you, you're like, yo, how's it going with the girls? I'm like, eh. I don't, just you don't sitting text back, me. You DM relaxing. me. It's different. Sorry, DMing you. But yeah. yeah, okay, so let me go on with this story, and we sure, can exp- fine. Like, I can explain everything. Sure. So are sitting down, we're talking with this woman, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we got, we're talking about, like, high school, and then, like, it moves on or whatever, um, and this girl is super into, like, podcasts and NPR, uh, <laughs> super intelligent, um, yeah. and, like, we're having a good time, and then she, yeah, like, you are. she, stop. <laughs> She starts talking about her, um, the business that she, she runs, she owns a restaurant, um, oh, that's lit. and yeah, um, super intelligent. And mm. so, but then like my grandma starts talking, like they start talking about money flow, um, and like taxes and like LLCs and stuff like that. And like, I'm interested in stuff. Um, and, but then, uh, someone says like, my grandma's like, eh, sorry, sorry about this like i she like she apologized for making the conversation like that and then she's like oh no it's fine it's fine and then there's like a break in the conversation and my grandma's like you know my son's a or my grandson's a very interesting individual <laughs> he and so she's i love th- this. this girl keeps bringing up podcasts and stuff she's oh. like and i'm not saying anything i never yeah. very rarely do i bring up bonus points in a conversation yeah as you my, rightfully should yeah, my grandparents though, they love uh, it. They, they, they oh, they love. They're my favorite. They they're the biggest supporters of bonus points. Yeah, they I, love I bonus don't points. they've even seen an episode, but oh, they love bonus points. So my grandma's like my my grandson's a very interesting individual. Uh, <laughs> did you know he has a podcast of his own? And then it, it, it's all all bets off. It's like uh yeah yeah I do I do this thing with this friend of mine. Yeah. Oh, what's your podcast called? It's, it's called Bonus Point. Mm. Uh, and she, but no, but no, like she she understands because like she's super into podcasts and stuff yeah. like that. Um, she is like she's like, oh, what's it about? Like, I, oh, I tried starting my own podcast and stuff like that. Uh, and she's like, how do you do it? Um, you should send it to me or oh, like, show cute. it to me okay. or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. And yeah. so I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe. This will be the episode I send to her, Roger. Um, so I had to, I'd ruin that too. I mean, regardless, I'll, I'll still, uh, or I'll still probably send it to her because it, it's not, it's not like that. Um, yeah, it's all my fault. It's not you. Yeah, for sure, sure. for sure, Roger. Um, but like, it's always, and so that was a good example where it's like, mm. she, she understood like podcasts and stuff like that. Yeah. That's the but best, that's the best situation. Best possible scenario. Yeah. And like it, it kept the conversation going. It was a good time. Um, and stuff like that. But then anytime I'm talking with my grandparents and like, so there are a lot of people, a lot of extended family, a lot of relatives at this wedding, you know, lots of conversations with my grandparents. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, my, uh, grandson does this show. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I did the like, same. Oh, or they, they're like, oh, what's a podcast? Oh, yeah, God. it's kind of like a like a like a radio talk show, kind of. Like, oh, so oh, you're on the you're radio? On, yeah, you're on the radio. Like that's super. No, no. we put it on YouTube. Oh, how many hits? Do you... <sighs> None. Yeah, like none. I'm see, sad. we we moved the podcast from like the popular channel to its own channel, so and that's that, not like, doing well. Yeah, and... it's like. Yeah, Dang it. we we just don't upload enough because Caleb's yeah. doing things and Roger's busy and Roger's just Roger's just lazy. Depressed, he's, like, he's for sure depressed, like not doing well in his life. Yeah. Super poor. 
like just not doing well. And you know you have to, and then you start explaining his situation. You know, yeah, you start explaining, you, start explaining, like, you know, Roger has a girlfriend. You know, he's been spending too much time. Yada yada. Yeah, yada he's yada, sad. Yada, he cries yada. like and eats too much. You know. And then it's, it's just, like, they they're like, oh, so what's it about? It's like, and my parents call, or my grandparents like usually say like he does this like video game show or whatever. Mm-hmm. Bonus points. Very rarely, recently especially, is it a video game? Oh, show? Oh, for sure. Okay. Not. Yeah. I'd say maybe not the more maybe not the anything we're a hip maybe hop not the podcast like for sure we're a hip hop podcast I mean like I, I think that's the a very shitty hip hop podcast by the way but yeah I mean, yeah I I think it's that like it only is one of us likes it yeah I yeah like hip hop but not on your level um, yeah I think it's I think it's just like I don't know like we're just talking about dumb bullshit like I bonus points was not necessarily the great I mean in the beginning it was a very good idea but oh, now yeah. we're now we're not talking about video games now we're just all bets off yeah I mean, all, I mean this is this is very off. much the bonus points. We're not talking about the regular game. This yeah. is the extra game. This is the, exactly. This is this is when you know in Metal Gear Solid uh, Snake Eater, I think, when the dream sequence is and you would shoot all those monkey things. I think that's a good reference, Caleb, to video games. I know and video games very well. Didn't get that reference. Sweet. <sighs> that's a thing in the game, apparently. Cool. Cool. I've never played it, by the way. Yeah. For some reason, last night, the other night, I was watching a montage of um revolver ocelot jokes um where he's like pretty good and like <laughs> Sorry, i just man. i was just watching them all huh. god that series is really confusing yeah god that game is really that series is really confusing yeah yeah that series is weird like three is the first one and then five is in the yeah. middle but then four is the last and then one. you have the psp exclusive like and then Peace Walkers yeah. somewhere in between the Peace Walkers yeah. after three, after three, and, before five, then you have and then, Ground Zero, and then like, one, the and then is one is before four, but yeah. it's and then, and then two. Twins, I don't know where the hell. You, yeah. Well, Twins is there. Twins is a remake of one, apparently. No, but, no, but like then you have characters that are twins or something. Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Metal. I, and then this. And then Sean Pitts is like, oh, coming out of nowhere, and he's like, yeah, the series is great, but you know yeah. what is, you know what else is good? Uh, uh, Five Guys. Yeah, shut up. Five Logic's Guys is the greatest greatest. lyricist of all time. Logic's Come the greatest, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're, mm-hmm. they're Sean better. Pitts. No, I'm not even. <laughs> um, but, so yeah, like, I'll bring up the podcast, or like, it's like a video game show, and then, like, you'll have some relatives. I literally had one relative be like, and she, like, she was into, like, she she was fine, like, she was having a good conversation. Yeah. But she was like, oh, so, like, do you have, like, a, like, an Xbox, or, like, <laughs> and, like, it's that. just, like, I hate that. Dang it. Um. Yeah. But then, like, so, like, I'm talking, so we're going back to the conversation with the woman, um, and she, she's like, oh, so, like, are your video game podcast, like, no, 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 no. Like, we talk we talk about, like, books and, like, oh, God. hip-hop and albums and stuff. <laughs> it's like, That's I a, don't that, know. You got to keep it simple. That's your major problem. You just got to yeah. be like, you just got to be like, I make an internet. No, I make a video, um, a podcast, which is a, ra- it's a show like a radio, radio show, but it's yeah. on the internet. And uh-huh. what do you guys talk about? We talk about video games. Oh, yeah. like, what about video games? Oh, we just talk about the new releases. That's it. You can yeah. lie to them, literally. Hell, you can... I know, and them, there have know. been times where I've done... There are times when yeah. it's clearly, like, I, I'm not gonna go through the trouble of explaining this. Yeah, you oversimplify it. I mean, like, I, I, I was almost tempted to do that when I was, um... I was interviewing for an internship, and um, the guy was like, yeah, you know, oh, you, you are you talking about, like, I was saying I was gonna want to do video stuff for the video yeah. game industry. And then he was like, oh, so you mean, like, recording, like, the mocap stuff? Yeah. And I, I was like, and I, I kind of just, like, smiled and nodded, and then it kind of got, like, he got more into it. And then I was like, no, not really. More like the media side of thing. I had to explain that to him, too. Um, and then we started talking about basically, like, PewDiePie. It was, oh. it, it gets like that. And, and, and it, yeah. it's, like, different, though. So it's hard. It's hard. Like, I, I don't I don't blame it, right? Like, I don't blame yeah, it. Yeah, and not, I... Yeah, yeah, like I don't blame we are to- them or anything. We are totally at this weird, like, like we are so far like into this weird rabbit hole that if anyone else was outside of this rabbit hole a little bit, they do not get it. So yeah, I don't, I don't blame it. I don't blame it at all. Yeah, it. The tough part though is when you have someone like most of the time the relatives are like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, or whatever. Conversation's done. Yeah. The tough part though is when you get the people that are actually into podcasts 
or that yeah. just have nothing else to do and so they continue talking about the podcast like yeah so i record with this kid in new york a good friend of mine oh yeah. did, did he used to go to school with you no, no we, we met, met on, on twitter online yeah, yeah. He, like I started writing some stuff, put them online. Like he, he kind of liked them. Like yeah. then he DM me. It was like Twitch stream. No, how how do you? And the, the woman that was actually, like really into podcasts was like, oh, so how do you record? So originally we just did like Google Hangouts, and now we do mm-hmm. like we edit it all together. And, like hmm, it's tough, man. It's it's tough, it's tough for sure. I don't know. Yeah, um, but th- I I appreciate it. Like when. When people really want, and especially shout out to the to the woman that was like new podcast, like, yeah for sure. She like that was a great conversation. Like it it wasn't bad at all. But when you get the relatives that like, like the ones that don't stop and the ones that have no idea like even what a podcast is, like that's that's tough. I I like the the interests. I appreciate it, but man, like oh, it's tough. Oh, yeah, it's tough. So, so, I mean, they're, it's curious. Like, it's curiosity. Like, I don't think it's... Yeah. It's something, yeah, of course, like, we... Of course, we appreciate it. We want to talk to you about it. But, like... Yeah. It's just, like, comes thing where it's, just, like... It's... It, we... How do we explain it? Like, how do yeah. we explain this weird, dumb internet thing that we're doing that we mm-hmm. don't really see as real mm-hmm. to, like, people that are real humans? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It... It's I tough. think that's the best way to explain it. Yeah, it is tough. Uh-huh. Um... I don't know. So, you went on vacation. So, that's what this I mostly did. was. Um... And you wanted this four day retreat. Is this what that what, that was the end result of this? You were trying to go to this wedding. That yeah, that was the entire okay, like that's gotcha. why this vacation was a thing. This sure. Wedding. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because um, I was talking to Jess about it, and she was like, she's like, why is he going to North Carolina? She's like, what's in North Carolina? I was like, J Cole lives there, or was born there, or something like that. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to see J Cole. I have no Confederate idea. Confederate flags. Confederate. <laughs> was there Dude, a lot of those? I saw so many. I need to. I'll, I need to send you these pictures that I mm-hmm. saw of. So we walked into this tour shop, and this was in Arizona, nonetheless. Not in, like this was in like a weird part of Arizona, like a tour shop in Arizona, um, not in North Carolina. But there are these hats that have the Confederate flags. Do you want me to read some of the the sayings that are on them? Oh sure, if they say the N word for sure, I want you to say it out loud. I will never say the N word. You try to get me to say the N word all the time. No, I, I do not. No, no, no. Yes, you don't, do. Don't okay. try that. Don't. I can it's, go back to podcasts and I can. It's I different. Can it's not. It's not like. It's not like I'm saying, "Hey, Caleb, what do you call a black guy?" <laughs> like I'm. I'm saying like you're saying a lyric, and I'm just like, say the next word. I dare you. Say it. Say it right now. No balls. Right now. Say yeah, it. Yeah, and I. I'm very much so against it. Um, yeah, of course. No, I don't. Blame but no, the, these much. hats with this, the Confederate flag. Mm-hmm. Rebel since 1861. <laughs> Two Confederate flags on that. I'm surprised floor. this isn't in more of Arizona. This is what I imagined Arizona and anywhere that isn't New York and LA to be. This Arizona is honestly, is I'm a, so a really serious. cool place, and like it, I've never seen anything like this. Like racism, not very prevalent in Arizona. Like it's really? a very diverse community. Yeah, especially uh, there's a crazy large Hispanic population. Like yeah, that makes uh, sense. Yeah. Arizona I isn't like it, except when you get to like northern Arizona and the weird like route 66 like touristy parts of arizona then it gets yeah. kind of weird sometimes do you get good do you have good mexican food and hispanic and food incredible there? incredible okay, um there's another one that says heritage not hate <laughs> and i got I... In these big <laughs> arguments with like sure. my family like like they like uh my my grandma was like mostly in support of me but i was talking to my uncle and he's like that's just history man like that's a part of south heritage and i'm like it, it's incredible it's a part of history absolutely but to celebrate yeah. it in this way like that shouldn't be a thing like you should get in trouble for doing that and like yeah it's really like we'd go on the highway and i'd see someone with a confederate flag like in the back of their truck like waving in the wind it's like subtly i kind of hope they get their tires slashed yeah like I like I mean, not. I, I don't understand. want you don't want to get any, you don't want anyone to get hurt. I think I've just I don't put want that anybody to get hurt. I, I, I kind of a few see hundred dollars in damage. From. But yeah, I I want you to go through the trouble of replacing your tires. I'm personally not yeah. going to slash your tires. I'm a very pacifistic human being. But yeah. I'm, I I really that's messed up. Like yeah, that shouldn't be a thing anymore. And I know it's not on the same I, scale. But you could get in trouble for having some Nazi paraphernalia in Germany. Like, that's very yeah, much so against the law. And it's not on the same scale, but I'm just putting it out there. 
I don't think you should get in trouble for it. I mean, it's America. Yada, yeah, yada, yada. I, I but understand. but I think it should be frowned upon. I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's not necessarily. It's it's definitely. I think I don't think we should go as far as say it is Nazi paraphernalia, as you were saying. Yeah, it's not as bad, of course. But I just think that there is a lot of, especially in the South. I think there is a lot of. There is education, of course, and the education teaches you that. But like, it is very skewed in a lot of ways. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like that is that there is a lot of misinformation spread around. Like, and it was especially jarring for me to see a Confederate flag in New York around my around the corner. I was walking That's around weird. as a kid, like a few years ago. I think it was like four years ago. I was walking around going to my friend's house, and like, I someone had his garage open doing some work, and I just see a huge Confederate flag. I was just like, whoa. That's I weird. That when was, you see that, yeah. like, it, in a private place, like, yeah, this that, is my sanctuary, and, like, I have my Confederate flag over here. Like, when you're waving it out and stuff like that, like, I kind of understand that. When you're subtly racist, like, that's kind of... Yeah, like, <laughs> that's the worst part. Like, I there was, um, there's, uh, in, um, the OJ show, there's, um, they have this, um, episode where they're, like, they the arresting officer or whatever, and then he comes home, and then he has all this Nazi memorabilia, and that's what I just imagined that house to be, just, like, with Confederate stuff, just, like, everything is Dukes of Hazard looking, like, everything uh-huh. is Confederate flag, like, it's, it's, it's just, it's just, it's just, what whatever, like, you, I understand, like, people People are not – some. there are legitimately people that believe that that is just an icon of the South and isn't something for racism, and I mm-hmm. get that. But also yeah. you have to understand, like, the general, like, message of that flag yeah. and what it meant for a lot of people, at least back then. Like, yeah. sure, you can take the Nazi flag and just, like, this is – we're going to turn this into a, a meaning of love – like, it's, you can't really do that, you know no. what I mean? Like, you can't, it, oh, no. it used to mean, like, this Buddhist thing, which it actually did, I think yeah, it's backwards, uh-huh. like, but you can't do that, though, you know what I mean? No, you, you, can't. you just can't, like, that's, Sorry. that's done, like, like, that, and, like, the, 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 the shitty mustache that Hitler had, like, that's gone, like, you can't do that, like, unless you're Michael Jordan, you can't wear that again. Like, yeah, that's weird. Michael Jordan did have a Hitler mustache. I never thought about yeah, that. Yeah, no one cared about that because he's Michael Jordan. You know, what did he do? He did, yeah. did he win a game because when, when he was had the flu or something like that? I don't know. The, bear, yeah, that's one of the greatest accomplishments in, like, all Yeah, sports. something like that. That's stupid. It's fine. Whatever. Just take a day cool. He's fine. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Not um, that big of a deal. What, is he never 12? I don't know. Stupid. Uh, yeah. Stupid. So. Um, but, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, our, that's our political moment. Um, there you go. Uh, next segment in the po- politics. Uh, the, 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 the Trump? Trump, man. I don't, we don't even right, We're not, this. we're not going to That was a joke. 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 I want to, like, not, I don't want to bring up, like, politics or anything, but I, I want to talk about this experience I had where, um, so my, my grandma went and, drove up to her old grandparents house or whatever in like new mexico or something because we took a road trip to north carolina sure um god bless them um Mm -hmm. and um she stopped by that house and met like a stepbrother that she hadn't seen in like 30 years Mm -hmm. and uh they had a nice conversation and then they're like okay yeah so when we uh, like uh, my grandma's like oh yeah when we get back uh we should have a dinner with the family like get everybody to meet each other and like like that's cool like i was really happy for and stuff like that um and i met this cousin of mine like i doubt i'll ever see this these family members again and like that's also a really weird sensation of meeting a ton of people at like this wedding like i had these great conversations with these family members and like i got to know them they got to know me like it was it was wonderful and like I probably won't ever see half of them ever again. You know what? You think that's weird? Imagine doing that, but, like, with people that you actually know and you see every day in school, and then one day you're going to be at a party, and you'd be like, yeah, I'm never going to see you again. Yeah. Like, I'm just I, – I've said that to people, too. Like, mm-hmm. I, I'm like – I, I, I uh, was having a little too much fun at prom uh, – after prom – um and you know and i was talking to someone do we need to bring up lean again like (laughs) no i was i was not doing anything illegal um but i was i was i was a little too excited for myself Uh and and uh, i was talking to someone she was like she was she was gone i gotta be honest she was she was pretty gone but she was being kind of rude to me and i was just looking at her i said i'm never gonna see you again (laughs) and i was just like i I mean she was being rude to me i don't know like she was being really mean to me but i was just like yeah i'm never because i was sweating a lot she was like did you jump in the pool 
And I was just like, I, her, I, and I looked at her, her. I looked at her. I said, I'm never gonna see you again. I like, I'm yeah. just never going to like this this time right now where I'm sitting behind you in this after prom buzz. I'm never gonna see you again. And yeah. like that's a that's a weird sensation. Like I, I mean, I have the summer, so I'm going to see people at parties. I mean, I think there's a party tonight. I don't think I'm going, but like, there's things like I'm gonna see people until. Yeah. August hits, and then you're gonna start seeing people less, and then you're yeah. gonna only see people on Twitter or Instagram, and then you're gonna see them again in your ten year high school reunion, twenty year high school reunion, like yeah. that's it. And that, uh, yeah, like when, like I go through my Instagram, and I don't follow a lot of people, um, mm-hmm. relatively, and there will be people that follow me, and like I know them from school, and like we have we've had classes together and stuff, but it's just like I really don't care about you enough to follow you, <laughs> and like. Like, I'm very stingy with who I follow on Instagram because, like, I yeah. just really kind of want people I'm relatively close with. Um, and so, like, it's like, I don't know. But then you have people where it's like, oh, yeah, I'll follow you. But then I can't wait until I graduate and can totally unfollow you and yeah. like, never have to have that awkward conversation. Um, but going back to the, this young cousin I met. Yeah, sorry um, about that. She's, like, nine years old, I think. Mm-hmm. Um and we're just talking and i noticed that she wears like a she's wearing like a we are strong shirt or like it it Mm -hmm. said like it was some superhero shirt but it was pink sparkly and it had uh the wonder woman logo a batman and superman logo but i assumed the batman and super uh man logos were super supergirl and batgirl to some extent Mm -hmm. um but it, it said it was something like that, and I just take no, no to the shirt. I'm like, that's actually super dope. Um, yeah. And we're just having a cool conversation, and then, like, my little sister's like, oh, yeah, I saw Captain Underpants or whatever in the theater. I took my sister to saw that, see that, by the way. How was that? Um, fine movie. Uh, I, I have, a, like, a weird love of that series. I was really into the books as a kid. Um, yeah. It, it was a fine movie. I like the animation right. style. My girlfriend's but, uh, really... She wants to see that a lot, okay. so I might have to Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's good. a good time. Uh, I I, it was a good experience. But um, I asked the girl, like, oh, what's what's your favorite movie? Because, like, we were talking about that for a bit. And she's like, Wonder Woman. I love Wonder Woman so much. And I'm like, oh, I, like, that's super cool. Like, I, yeah. And you always hear these stories about, like, representation and stuff like that and how, like, that's important. And you see, like, yeah. oh, these little girls dressed up as Wonder Woman. But, and, like... I, I take note of it. It's cool and everything, but I never experienced that in real life. And I'm talking yeah. to this little cousin of mine, and she's mm-hmm. just going on and on about Wonder Woman. I'm like, that's super cool. And then she's like, my favorite parts are the fights. I love the action. <laughs> I love the part when Wonder Woman had her sword, and it's like in slow motion, like stat. And I was like, I like I was head of, like that. That's so cool. Like yeah, and you always think so like, you think it's important to have representation, like. Okay, it's cool that there's a female superhero, like, a- on the big screen. Mm-hmm. That's super cool. But then to hear her be like, my favorite parts are the fights. I love the action. And yeah. she's just going on about her favorite scenes. And I haven't even seen this movie, so, like, it was kind of, like, spoiler territory. But I couldn't even mm-hmm. care because yeah. this little girl was so hyped that Wonder Woman was out there, like, you, stabbing you people. You scream like, at this little kid. You're like, spoilers! <laughs> uh, are you kidding yeah, me? I, mean, I haven't basically. seen it. Be a little more considerate, yeah. little girl. I know, right? Um, stupid. <laughs> um, that's but dope. yeah, that's like so it, it's super cool, and you, you don't ever like see that in like real life. Like you see it on oh cool Twitter posts and stuff like that, but like to see that in real life was super cool. I'm so excited for um for everyone that just that is able to now grow up and have that hero in their eyes. Yeah. Like my 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 um my mom when she grew up, she, you know, she she grew up in Trinidad. She didn't really have much TV that they watched. Mm-hmm. But like her thing was Wonder Woman. She loved Wonder Woman. She wasn't into that stuff, but like that was like such a strong, powerful woman on TV. Like yeah. she never seen anything like that. And she still carries that with her. Like she loves Wonder Woman because she lo- like that was the thing that she identified with. And like I'm so excited for women and everyone that are that feel like they are uh, not included in or subconsciously at least because I think that at that age you don't really notice it because mm-hmm. you you're just not into that stuff, right? You're like, eh, Batman's fine, you know, Superman's fine, but, like, I don't, I want something else, you know what I mean? You don't yeah. really feel it, but then Wonder Woman's that big thing, and, like, I think Black Panther's gonna be that huge thing for a Black lot Panther's of people. Gonna it's gonna be huge, and I think and Captain I think Marvel is going to be a huge thing oh, for them, too. Yeah. Captain Marvel's uh-huh. gonna be huge, because I think, guys, I gotta be honest with you, I think Captain Marvel's gonna be the first good woman superhero movie. Um, so Wonder Woman is not gra- that great. Um, no. So, eh, it's fine. It, you know what I mean? Like, it's uh-huh. fine. It's, it's better than the other ones, and that's... Okay. That's good, but also the other ones sucked. 
Yeah. Um, so I, I, it's not really, but I think that Captain Marvel is gonna be really fantastic. Yeah. Like that's gonna be a solid. solid Marvel does film. it right, man. Oh, they always do it right. Like with everything they do. Like it, even Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange like blew me away. Like that's a movie that people forget existed. Thank that you. Great. I, that movie's so great. I saw good. that. I saw that on Netflix. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down watch and watch it again because I saw it at the theater and yeah. I was like, that's a really good movie. Watch it again. That movie is super underrated. Yeah, it, it is. Pro- it, it's up there with and like. It's up there with Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant Man as my favorite, uh, yeah, Marvel movies. People forget about that movie. Like people yeah. forget about that movie. I think it's because the villain sucked a lot. Yeah, um, the villains. The, I mean, I mean, of course, Matt the re- great the actor, big but... the big villain in that big scene. Oh that yeah, spoil, like I, that's I kinda good. Like but that like, scene, though, it's funny. Yeah. Oh, it was great, but Mads Mikkelsen just wasn't cutting it. Like, I mean, he was yeah. good, but like, he just wasn't. He was just a villain. Yeah. Uh, that's why. That's why I love. I think that the I, I rewatched Iron Man last night um, with Jess because she like really loved Do- Doctor Strange and she liked Spider Man a lot. So mm-hmm. she was like, "Ooh, I would like to see another superhero movie, like yeah. Marvel superhero movie." So we watched Iron Man. She liked that a lot too. Um, so that's cool to see her like liking nerdy stuff a little bit yeah. more, like trying to get her down that line, showing her that like it's very accessible. Mm-hmm. But um, I was from Iron Man one, like man, those villains aren't that great. <laughs> like yeah. those villains kind of suck. But like, I, I mean, I guess we're gonna talk about Spider Man in a bit. But like for me at least, because you didn't watch it. But yeah. Sp- Vulture is the best MCU villain. Yeah. Like, for sure, the hands I, down. I'm a the big best... fan of uh, Yellow Jacket or whatever his name is in uh, Ant Man. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm really? a big fan. Yeah, I like, totally forgot about that guy. <laughs> like, he was just I, a bald guy from um, House of Cards. From yeah, I, I like the actor a lot. Uh, I also think the costume is kind of dope. Um, the costume is dope, yeah. But, and, yeah, I, I really like that villain. Um, also, shout out to, not to interrupt your Spider-Man thing. Of course. I, shout out to Rachel McAdams. Like, yeah, that's one of the reasons I love Doctor Strange as much as I do. She's a great actor. Or uh, actress, actor, whatever. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, I like her in all the... You can just put her in all the movies. I watched Spotlight. I don't get too deep in that. I loved it. Um, she's great in that. I didn't um, watch that. Yeah, that movie's amazing. And it has, has, that is Michael Keaton, too. And I love me some Michael Keaton. He's in that? Okay, that's who Michael Keaton is. Um, yeah. He's sweet. Batman, 1989. Haven't seen that one, Roger. What? Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah. Wait, What? Uh-huh. Is that on Netflix? I think that might be on Netflix. Kill yeah, it, it's on and off. I, I'll, if yeah, you, you need me to, to find I'll check it. it out. I'll check it out. No, please. 1989 Batman is the... I'm trying to think about the Batman movies. It is the second to third best Batman movie ever. Where's Dark Knight? Uh, Dark Knight is first. What's second? Uh, second is either Batman 1989 or it is... Uh, begins. Shout out to Batman Begins. That's a good movie. Uh, maybe begins. I mean, it is forgotten, and I, maybe it should be forgotten. I rises is somewhere wherever. Screw rises. Rises, and now okay. It, I, my name is Robin. I I want to give a shout out to my cousin, my older cousin, um, Annie, for taking me to that movie. That like as a little kid, uh, or not a little, kid, I was like twelve or eleven, and I love super. Like that was when I was super in it. That was when I first yeah. was first getting into comics. Um, and I really wanted to see this movie. My mom wouldn't take me. Uh, nobody would take me, and we wow. were talking, I, what a bad, what a bad time to take. I wow. know, right? Like, yeah, I that, wonder I, why they wouldn't take me to see that yeah, movie in yeah. the theaters. Dang it, Roger! But um, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm I, no, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, finish your story because because I have I have a very similar one. But um, and we're just talking like uh, my cousin's there, and she's like, "Have you guys seen the new Batman movie?" Uh, I'm like, "No, I really want to see it." Um. And my, she's like, hey, if you and your brother want to go, like, you, we can hang out and go see this movie. That was the dopest thing as a little kid. Because, yeah. like, my older cousin, like, she, she's, like, she, she's the same age as the other woman. She's, like, nine or ten years older Okay, cool. Um, my older cousin, like, she's, a, I don't have any older siblings, so it's, like, my cousins are the cool, like, holy cow, like, my cool cousins or whatever. And yeah. she was like, "Hey, do you guys want to see the new Batman?" Yeah, like that. Like that was the dopest thing ever. So yeah. I, I have fond mo- fond memories of that movie. I remember it was. I think it was the day of. Uh, I think that the um, that terrible massacre happened the night of the first, like like the midnight release mm-hmm. of the movie. And that morning, I already had plans to take my little brother to our first movie by ourselves. 
Uh, mm. The theater's the theater's not far. It's literally like walking distance. It's yeah, like maybe five minutes away. Like literally very far. Like mm. we have a little town, like um, an avenue, which tons of stuff, diners, you know, movie theaters. Like I, I've everything. been there. I've been there. Oh yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. So right there. So um, I forgot you've been there. Um, shit, I forgot. Man, it's, it's really been a year. weird to it's watch been a year. Uh, Master of None. We'll talk about this later. It's weird to watch Master of None. See you've been the there. New York skyline and be like, holy cow! Like I I recognize all of that. Like that's yeah. really cool. So, um, yeah, I, I, sorry, but side note, Caleb came over a year ago, uh, yeah. from the fourth, uh, he's been here. So, uh, he was here. So that's crazy. That's crazy to yeah, think about because I miss Caleb. I miss Caleb dear, dearly, but, yeah, um, too. um, but yeah, so I took my brother to it and we're walking. My mom was freaking out about it, but I ended up taking him and that was a very special moment because that was like the first time I felt like an older brother. Like, yeah, and a, cool. like, it was like, I was able to take him to a movie. I mean, I walked out of there super jazz about it. It was raining too. I remember that. And like I was super jazzed, especially when he broke Batman's back or whatever. I was like, "That's from Nightfall." Like even though I never yeah. watched it, like that uh-huh. was dope. Like in the, like the like the imagery with the mask, like, I was so jazzed when I was like Robin. But then like it was like one of those things that like, slowly unravels for me. <laughs> like it was like, eh, but, but what about this? But what about this? I'm but still did... kind of high on that movie. Like even but, like, though like kind of funny comes and they're like, "Yeah, that movie sucks." Like I'm still kind of high. Like Joseph Gordon Levitt and like all of that. Like that was dope. It that was, was just dope. like was, it like, just. Like, that was... The, the yeah, problem... the orphans like drawing the Batman symbol uh, on the concrete, like that's so cool. No, yeah, there's a lot of good so... parts about it, but I feel like there's so many like logical leaps. Like, <laughs> yeah. he had his back broken in the middle He's of the desert. Bruce Wayne He's a escapes, beast. has no money, and somehow gets. How does he get to Gotham City? And also, the, all the bridges are broken. So and how yeah, does he Gotham, get there? Gotham City's like. Actually, Closed. under like yeah, and and nobody no else military yeah, no is military just presence at all. It like, just makes no sense, and all everyone's in the sores. Like it's yeah. just, it's just like this isn't this doesn't make sense. Um, it was just weird, and he just like, I don't. I think the movie's better if spoiler alert with the ending of the movie. My friend, I, I was talking to my friend, and he was just like. I was like, I was like, oh yeah, that's weird. I don't like the ending. How like everything kind of works out for him. You know what I mean? Like yeah. how he lives and everything. And my friend just looks at me. He's like, are you stupid? Like that was a dream. Like that was like that was Alfred's thoughts. Yeah, I I've and, never been fully sure one way or another. Like, and that's the thing. Like I never even thought about it that way. I just thought it was a shitty ending. Like I never yeah. even thought about the fact that it might be Alfred just wishing, hopefully wishing. And I think that makes sense. Like I think I think that movie that movie gets. A- better makes a lot more sense but like still it doesn't like yeah. it's just it's just there's so many problems whatever it's it's a solid film it is not a bad film on any means. i think it was, yeah. a lot of it has to do with um joker i mean heath ledger passing away sadly i think yeah. a lot of it that he would have been for sure the main villain in the next one it would have been this final closer talk about all, it, i think that he had i would love to see the script that he wrote he for sure had oh, a script man. yeah like, I would love to see that script because I think that Bane would have been a secondary character to Joker. Yeah, you would have had a Harley Quinn in a Christopher Nolan movie. Like. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That would be amazing. Um, I would love. I would have loved to see Riddler, honestly. By um, um, I would love to see a oh, Neil Patrick yeah. Harris Riddler. Oh, yeah. That would be I, amazing. I, like, man, it sucks we, that we don't have any more Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Yeah, because he was like, fantastic at doing them. Like, um, but, I mean, without... I mean, because of, I think it was because of the death of, from what I've heard, I mean, I've read this a while ago, because of the death of um, Heath Ledger, Warner Brothers went up to him, because they really, of course, they wanted him to make another Batman movie. Yeah. At least one more. So they came up to him and they're like, listen, like, we will fund any movie you want. <laughs> like, they they're, they were like, apparently, so from what I've read a while ago, they're like, we will, like, fund whatever movie you want, and he's like, okay, I'll make Inception. And that okay, was, like, cool. the in-between movie. And, like... Inception's awesome. Like Inception, that movie's is, dope. Like, yeah, that movie is so good. That is such a cool like, that is such a cool like refresher for him. Yeah. I think that like that got him back into like okay, I can make whatever I want, and then I'll go back to Batman. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's dope. Do you like Interstellar? Yeah, I love Interstellar. I I, I watched it. I had the um, the pleasure of watching it in IMAX, um, yeah, in dope. the city. I'm, I'm like I I, I yeah, like it, it was right at the tail end of that movie finishing its theater lap. And, uh, like, I'm telling you, like, days away. I think it was the last showing. And we went to the city, and it was, like, the empty theater, and me and my friends watched it in IMAX. And, like, I cried during it. Like, that was such a great experience. Like, that's something that I'd never want to watch on a small-ass screen. Like, I have to watch it on a big screen. I have to experience it. Of course, there's dumb things. Dumb, I mean, the love thing threw me off. That's, like, stupid. But everything else, I don't know. Yeah, Christopher Nolan does that sometimes. Yeah. 
I mean, I, it's just a beautiful film. I, I yeah. loved it. Yeah. The heartbreaking moment with the um, the time, like that's just yeah. that screws you up. That screws you up. That's that 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 I will never forget that moment. Yeah. Man, that movie's good. Mm. That movie's super good, man. Yeah. Christopher Nolan is a really great director. You've seen um. Memento. Yeah, Memento. That movie's dope. That, that would be too. super dope. Uh, like, I think you could. I think you could watch the entire thing in order on YouTube for free. That's cool. That, Someone just uploaded it. They just never taken took it down. Huh? Yeah, that movie. That movie is really cool. That, yeah. Like I. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> That's just a dope movie. Yeah, Chris Nolan is cool. Chris Nolan is cool. I'm excited for Dunkirk. Yeah, me too. Uh, this girl, like, like I was on my Twitter, and like this girl's like, "OMG, new Dunkirk trailer." And, like, I come to find out later that, like, she's only into it because of uh, Harry, Harry Styles, Styles or whatever yeah. being in it. And, like, like he looks to have a pretty important role, though. Yeah. He looks like he's, like, in it. Like, it seems to be, like, not, like, just a joke thing. Like, yeah, I don't know. I'm interested. Like, I don't know. He's got, like, I don't know. He's cool. But I was suddenly, like, no, oh, man, that kind of sucks. Like, I kind of wish you yeah. were Chris Bernal. And, like, I, I mean, she's cool. going to watch it. And that's yeah. the joke. That's like good. she's going to watch it. Someone that is would have never watched it before is yeah. going to watch it now That's because of yeah. yeah. And she's maybe she'll become a huge fan of Chris Nolan after this. Yeah, who, who knows? knows? Who or knows? she'll be left disappointed when inevitably he probably dies in the first like hour. <laughs> so makes sense. Uh, who knows? Uh, yeah. Um. You want to talk about Spider Man? Yeah, sure. I'll talk about Spider Man. Uh, fantastic film. It's it's really great. I I think that. Mm, for Rock. me personally, I, I won't get spoilers. I'll try to be yeah. very good to you. And okay. I won't be good. To, I will be very good to you. Okay. But there are some really cool people in this movie as supporting characters, and one of them is a very supporting character um, in it, and I am super excited are in it, and they are um, some of my favorite actors from television. I there is oh. I, I it's not a spoiler. He's in he's in the cast. Um, I, I, at least one of them is. Um, and that is he played Mike Milligan in season two of Fargo. He was the bad guy in Fargo, um, and he plays, um, he, he plays a goon part of, uh, Vulture Squad, and he's very good in it, um, hmm. he didn't have enough time to shine, but I just love that actor, so it was very exciting to see him, and the other person, um, is in Better Call Saul, so that was very cool to see, yeah, um, true. yeah, and they're in, and they're in the universe, and they're playing villains, and, like, that's really dope, um, but I, the movie itself is really, really fun. The biggest complaint that I have, and this isn't really a complaint as more of an, uh, something I wanted in my heart, mm-hmm. was that I would have loved to see a lot more high school stuff. And it's not saying, not saying there isn't enough, because uh, there is a lot. You can't say that to me. No, 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 now I'm no, going to no, be no. depressed. No, 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 Caleb, chill out. It's, that is a compliment, because there is a lot of high school stuff. Okay. But I would have loved even more because I loved it so much. Okay. It's so, really great. It is exactly what you expect it to be. Okay. And it is really great. I don't think you should get... Here's the thing. Be careful. How many trailers did you watch? I watched the first two. I saw the one that... Done. I, stop, 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 okay. stop, stop. Okay. There yeah, is, I saw the one with the that I thought spoiled too much, and I was like, I'm not watching anything else, because <laughs> you screwed me over once. I'm not letting you screw me over a second time. Roger McCorney screwed up so bad. Roger McCorney did not understand and re, re, just like... Did, wasn't thinking and watched all the trailers and all the okay. footage that was available online and the movie was spoiled for me. A lot okay. of it. Um, so don't do that. So don't okay. do what I did. See, I'm, You're done. You're done. You're good. You're okay. fine. Um, so that's good. So that's good for you. I'm happy for you. Um, the, the villain, Vulture, is the best villain in the MPC, MCU for sure. Um, I'm very, very happy that they got Michael Keaton on board. He is a great actor. He has a great, he has some great motivation in it. Um, some really great stuff um, in terms of what he's actually doing it for. And you feel for this character. Like, mm-hmm. you legitimately feel for this character, I would say, as much as, like, like, like the, 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 the poster boy for relatable villain is Magneto, right? Yeah. Like, he is doing it because you understand what he's doing, but uh-huh. he's a villain. Very much in that sense. Like, it is, you understand why he's doing this, you get it. I think they could have even played on that a little bit more. There is something that happens, there is, there is a, a plot that is, that is, that is shown off a lot more later in the, at the ending of the movie. And that really is, like, a really nice place that they could have been like, hey, this is something that you may not hate him for. You know what I mean? Like, it, it opened up a lot of his emotional connection mm-hmm. to the audience. And they could have played with that a lot more. They could have asked the viewer. They should. They could have asked Spider-Man as to, hey, like this is, 
of course he's doing something illegal, something bad, but here is an opening for you to open up with this character. Mm -hmm. Here is an opening for you to care about this person, and it might even make you go back and forth in your head as an audience member and as Spider-Man. But instead they took the route of just kind of taking that opening and just like him just being completely morally shut like Spider-Man to be like, mm -hmm. oh, he's bad, I'm going to take him down. So I think there, there could have been a lot more leeway with that. So like they could yeah. have shown like, hey, he has his motivations and you may not want to stop him. You know what I mean? You may, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe you, maybe you can understand him. Yeah. Um, I think there could have been a lot more conflicted stuff with that towards the ending but in the beginning he's very conflicted like he is a very conflicted character and that's what i love about spider-man there is a of course there's great montages there are great you know that he has to go for a spanish test he's always leaving oh, going yes. to the bathroom like yes. there is a lot of that um yes. there he is you know he's with his friend ned and he's trying to he's trying to he, i got the stark internship i can't do that aunt may i'm sorry oh. like so much of that and there's so it's many so great jokes oh. and there's so many great jokes about aunt may being hot in this movie and it's great Perfect. and i love it because she is because yes. she is yeah. hot and she's beautiful and aunt may is the best thing ever um yeah. they, the, the jokes with robert downey jr and uh yeah that, may and civil war like made that movie yeah, yeah and there's a lot more in this too um a lot more back <sighs> yes. and forth it's great uh there's a lot a lot a lot of john favreau in this movie happy is Good, in like this him. movie a lot he's great in it um he has a great role in terms of spider-man with it um it, it just feels like a very much an ultimate spider-man um it, it, he is he is just trying to learn the ropes it makes a lot of sense and it also isn't it isn't cheesy. I think it is a very funny movie. Yeah. Sometimes to its detriment. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when it gets serious, it's a bit like, oh, I want a joke now because this has <laughs> been a comedy this entire movie. Like yeah. there hasn't been one moment where this hasn't been a comedy. Uh -huh. Um, so that's 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 another small complaint of mine. I I just think that this movie is in a lot of ways it is a very good movie, but it is almost a very forgettable movie sometimes. Like mm. it is it is very like throwaway because it is so funny. I okay. think it needed a bit more of emotional resonance, and it could have easily had it. I think that yeah. they wanted to, at, like, make it as light as possible to be as mm -hmm. different as possible yeah. from the other Spider-Man movies. Okay, that's fair. And that's that's not a bad thing at all. Like, and, yeah, and, I understand. And it's it is super funny, and it's like no joke really lands flat in his face. Like, it is very funny. It is it, it has some great moments. And you're gonna be saying lines over and over for years to come. But again, it is it could have had that a lot more emotional stuff and you will be you know there is some weird things in terms of with his um spidey stuff this he doesn't really have i don't want to say it never mind okay um yeah i don't want to say it. um i'm just trying to be good to you because i know you want to see this movie i'm yeah. trying to, not not to spoil it for you um I'm, I'm, you know i'm i might try to see it tonight my my friends and i want to hang out you should and it's just it's just very funny great film and it is it is a caleb Sithamel film like it is fun. it's got it that is... john hughes high oh, school it, coming like, age like very much john hughes like frick yeah man john hughes like it is it is john hughes the movie and um oh man Love yeah it, it's great and i there is a, a lot of great cameos of course there's an amazing cameo from an actress that you know you won't even know about until you finish the movie uh, that this person was in it, uh, which is a which is a great little cameo. I love stuff like that. Um, uh -huh. And um, the only thing, the, another side thing, I wish there was more Hannibal Burst. I am a huge fan of Hannibal Burst and Eric Andre. I know you I'm a, are, yeah. a huge fan. I love Hannibal Burst. He has some of the best lines in this movie, but he's only in it for like literally three scenes. Uh -huh. um, so, but I what love him so boy? much. What about our boy Gambino. Oh, Gambino has a really good role in it. Um, okay. Not like not like super important, but yeah. super important. Okay, <laughs> like, okay. like, Will there's we see a great... him again? Possibly. Okay. I mean, like, okay. His his character is very cool, very chill. But as, listen as to be... listen to what he says. There's there's a, there's an Easter egg there, okay. and that Easter egg that Easter egg may hold a lot of importance or no importance at all. But okay. I I think it's a lot of importance, Caleb. So I think you'd be very oh. excited about that. Yeah, um, they, if they cast him and underuse him like that, like I don't and I don't trust Marvel to do that. I think him and Disney have a good relationship, like. Yeah, okay, when you watch it, you might think that he's underused, but you need to really, like, listen. Yeah, Like, okay. that's what I'm going to say. I, yeah, and like, I, I don't trust, I don't think Marvel would underuse him. They, no, no, they, no, They understand the talent they have. Yes, yeah. and this is very much, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited because this is a very high-tech Spider-Man, and I'm super excited Sick. for you to see that. That's really dope. Um, 
But yeah, the movie's great. I think it is better. It is not a better first movie than Spider Man One. I don't think. I think it's the perfect first movie. Like it's really solid. Have you tried emotion. watching that recently? Is it bad? That's a very early two thousands movie. Like, the, it's like it's very. Early. It doesn't age yeah. as well as I'd, I'd hope. Right. It's like, still I don't... So, like it's still a good Spider Man movie. Like I have a good time with it. it doesn't age very well. I got to be honest. I don't really love Tobey Maguire's Spider Man. The more I think about it, like I just don't. He doesn't look like a high schooler. And no, he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't look like one. He doesn't act like no. one. He has this weird, like, thing. Like, I don't know. I don't believe him a lot of things. Like, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't believe him as Spider-Man sometimes. Yeah. Um, but, like, I believe Tom Holland as Spider-Man. That's and good. I didn't realize he was, he's supposed to be 15 years old in this movie, and he works perfectly. Like, he works perfectly. 15-year-old cool. kid. Man, awesome. why, why am I not playing Spider-Man? Oh, wait. Oh, the new one? The game? No, why am I not in the new Spider-Man? Oh, shut why up. am I not Peter Parker? Come on. Because you, you can't act. Roger, also, how do you know? You've never seen me try did you to hear? Act. Did you hear what Kevin Feige said about um, Spider-Man being in the Spider-Man universe for years? I mean, in the... In oh, the yeah. Uh-huh. The kid that, that is comes, yeah, so, so dope. Cool. Yeah, so if anyone that doesn't know, um, appara- so in Iron Man 2, there's a scene where um, one of the big, dumb drone robots is about to kill a kid. And uh, the kid is wearing an Iron Man mask, and he just puts up his hand like he's going to shoot him. And then, of course, Iron Man comes in and saves the day, and he's like, good work, kid. Good work, Iron Man, or whatever. And then Kevin Feige said that that is, in his mind, he always wanted that to be Spider-Man. Um, and so he's cool, confirmed man. it, basically, which is so dope. Yeah. Um, that is so dope. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. I The only thing that I'm scared about the future is this whole bullshit with Sony and Venom. Because yeah, Venom. That. Venom would be so dope in this universe, and if he's again, if Tom, if, especially if they have a freaking what's his face, um, oh shit, what's his, the guy's name that plays Venom in, in the new ones? Now? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. If they have Tom Hardy, I himself, know. Like, I'm gonna God, be so sucks. angry, dude. And, and Carnage. If they have Carnage and Venom to themselves, I'm gonna be so angry. Yeah. Like, dude, a Tom. I'm just Har- mad they have Tom Hardy because, like, I love that man so much. I I love Spider Man Homecoming and it's such a light movie, but imagine that like like juxtaposed, juxtaposed to with a, freaking yeah. Venom. Like that would be so oh. dope. A huge Venom. Like I want a huge muscular Venom, like massive guy. And Tom yeah. Hardy can do that. We've seen that. Like oh, that'd yeah. be so dope. Oh my god. Um but yeah, Vulture's really great. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um yeah, I'm I'm super excited to see that movie. Uh it seems like everything I want. Um and when you say something's the Caleb Sythomal thing, I uh, I trust you implicitly. Speaking you. of, I watched Master of None. Um, nice. At, because for the longest time you've been recommending it to me, you're like, Caleb, you got to watch this. Um, I'm like, I'll get to it. And I know it's really good. And then I'm scrolling through my Twitter mm-hmm. and people are like, oh man, the season two ending's like kind of dope. And I'm like, yeah. you know what? Like, shout out to his season. I'm sorry. Like, I kind of want to check some of his stuff out. I haven't seen Parks and Rec or anything. Um, so I go and I download it and I watch it like just over the course of my vacation. Dang, that show is good. Yeah, I know. Like, man, like I, I didn't even know what it was going into it at all. Um, but man, it is such a perfect depiction of relationships uh, and all that, all that comes with it, um, in a TV show, in any media whether it be movies books whatever it's it, master of none does relationships better than anything else yeah it's um, it's it's very honest and brutal yeah uh and there are times when it, like it just as i assume relationships are there are times when it is super high and fun and such a great show but then especially in season two and there's some parts in season one but especially season two um where it is messy and just like tough like just hard all around and there are people's feelings involved and it's just like you can't really it's tough it's all tough and i think there's no right answer yeah and i think master of none depicts that um better than anything else i've seen um and impressively so yeah. um for any media i didn't think you can do could make something so gray um yeah. so just 
in the middle uh show show the lights the dark show it all um and make that and have such a great television show um and impressively it is in it is funny the entire time as well mm-hmm. um and what when you were saying like spider-man gets to the point where it's like serious and you kind of want to joke like i never had that in master of none like yeah. i think they do jokes perfectly there's one time where it gets a bit satirical and like i'm like it, it, it was like a bit over the top uh uh-huh. I, the part of the magician um Magi- where i oh. i i kind of laughed out loud at that um I'm trying to figure out what what, what was that the there's some cops maybe a knife involved Oh, uh, <laughs> like that, like I was sitting next to my sister, uh, my younger sister. And she's like, uh-huh. just she's like leaning on my shoulder, like kind of watching as well. Uh, but she she doesn't like really. She's just like kind of browsing it, like just yeah. suddenly paying attention. And I I know what's about to happen. Mm-hmm. And he just slams his hand down, and I just break out laughing. Like, <laughs> oh man. Um, but yeah, that that show is really good and. It, it's very good at doing social issues as well. Yeah. Like, shout out to the feminism episode. Oh. Like, straight dude. killed it. Like, especially when they're, like, living it up, lis- listening to Africa um, in the bar. Like, that that moment is, is dope. And the um, the Thanksgiving episode. Oh, so good, man. That is, that is, that is such a solid, solid episode. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think my favorite episode of the entire series, that... I would say it like sums up the series in the weirdest way is the episode where it doesn't follow their group of friends at all and follows two different the, people. The I love New York people. episode. I love New episode. That is yeah. that is the best. Like because it just it, it that's that's an episode for anyone that hasn't seen it. It's not a spoiler or anything. I mean, it, I mean it isn't. But I mean, it, it, it is an episode where it doesn't necessarily follow one character. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Ethan Sari's character. It follows like three different people, and they're all like, um, you know, people of color, and you know, just different, just different parts of new york and it is, it's new yeah. york this is new york and it, it, it is it perfectly represents new york in the best way like it, yeah. it, it is the best representation of that show because it is so different and unique and also one in the same like everyone goes through their own struggles mm-hmm. and that's beautiful yeah arnold's character gets a bit weird sometimes mm-hmm. is that uh eric from tim and eric uh I, the tall guy yeah yeah um I yeah, love man. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good character. I don't know. It, it just like kind of got to the top sometimes for me. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that show is so good. Um, I can't recommend it enough. Um, I think it apply like I think anybody would enjoy that show. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're getting we're getting a season three of that, right? Oh yeah, I think so. I think it's confirmed already. Yeah, it's just gonna take like two years. Oh crap, man. Um, Seriously. Yeah, it is. Um, but I also need to say, I think that, that this is the best show to watch if you've ever fallen in love ever. Like, or you've ever think you've fallen in love or whatever. Like, mm-hmm. this is just, like, the best template of, like, what, how shitty it is to fall in love and how great yeah. it is at the same time. And also, and if you ever have a career that you've ever, like, really focused on and wanted to, like, work out, like, God, the show just really focuses on, I guess, I think it's the best representation of millennials. Yeah, in a lot of yeah, ways. In a lot so of ways, perfectly. like everyone Especially from the dating everything. Episode, like that was really good. What were you gonna say? The dating episode. That was yeah, really the dating. Like, so everything from yeah. I was gonna say everything from dating to weed pens. Like it's just it, it just like it it, it it sums up what it is like to be a millennial and how it it's different. But then again, not really that different. Like no. it's all yeah. very tough. It's all very tough and gray area. It's not like you yeah, sure you're swiping right and everything, but like it's 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 still tough. It's still it's still not the easiest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Um, Man, I'm glad you watched it. I'm so glad you watched it. That makes yeah. me so happy. Uh, thank. I can't thank you enough for recommending it to me. No, of uh, course. Such a good I'm, show. I'm glad you liked it. I think that I, th- I, I maybe had a little bit of reservations that you maybe not may like it, maybe not may like it. Uh, just because it's so, it's not difficult to watch at all. But it's just um, I don't know. It's very specific sometimes. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit. It's a, it's a bit obtuse sometimes. Very artistic in the second mm-hmm. season. Um, so but yeah, I'm glad you liked it a lot. Um, yeah. I, another show that doesn't like that is Louie. I don't know if you want to watch Louie. That show is mm-hmm. really good. That that show is that show is really good. It is very much. Uh, my friend um, jokingly was saying how it ripped off um, Master of None ripped off Louie, and I could see it though. Like in a lot of ways, I think Louie mm-hmm. Louie is is um, 
very much a show about nothing. It takes place in New York again. It's about, you know, Louis C.K., who he has two kids, and he's trying to deal with, the, you know, his sex life, yada, yada, yada. But it, it is also very much like Master of None. Everything is kind of, like, random, and, like, every episode has its own meaning, and they all kind of they all kind of show what it's like to just be alive in this era, especially for Louis. And, they, they, and also, the thing about Louis, which I love, is that he has complete control over the show. Uh, I think I probably told you this. He directs, produces, and edits the show. Um, He went to film school, and he edits the show at his kitchen counter with, you know, laptop or whatever. And I think this is the perfect time to watch it because I think it's only five seasons, and he hasn't renewed for a six or anything like that because he doesn't want to. But it's one of those things that FX was like, so what do you think about this? Are you going to – do you want to have another season? Like, yeah, we want another season. He just doesn't want to do it. They just think that in, like, the next, like, 30 years there's going to be, like, ten more seasons. You know what I mean? Like, mm. he's just going to come back r- randomly and just do it if he wants to. That's um, cool. So it is very much his artistic piece. I think that's a good show. If you, from Master of None, go watch Louis. I think that's a perfect, okay. like, transition. I think that's, like, perfect for you. It's Sweet. really great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man. Uh, TV's good. TV's um, really good. I forget that a lot. I, I watch a lot of movies, and I don't really sit down and watch TV. But, um, yeah. Uh, it, shows are good. Um, I want to talk about it. I, I finished sure. the Stephen King book, It, and that's very it. Do you know at all anything about that show, that property, or anything? Uh, it isn't that the one with the um, did you finish it? Yeah, isn't that the one with the clown and it's also a spider? Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. Um, yeah, Tim so he, he like. He, like, changes uh, forms and stuff. I don't get into the nitty-gritty. Um, yeah. Kind of spoilery. But um, it's this awesome... So, I read the Stephen King book. And mm. what... First off, that's a thick book. I... <laughs> thick. I have thick with, like, 18 Cs. Yeah. Because... A few Qs. Um, yeah. I've never read a book that long. Um, really? Like a, yeah, no. Uh-uh. It was, it was 1,100 pages. And Jeez. each page was super packed um it took me forever to read um i just wanted to get through it um but it's a it's such a good book um so it starts out with these these young kids uh, very much so have you seen stranger things yet no i have not i'm a okay. bad person it's very much so like stranger things with the goonies where it's these kids and there's a monster and they have to deal with it um and and um, so they go, they deal with it, like, all, all that stuff happens, and then there's also, they have to come back later as adults, and there's the oh, second, wow. there's the second side of that story, and then the book does it completely, uh, non-linear, in that it swaps between the kids' perspectives and the adults, um, throughout, and does it perfectly. Oh, wow. Besides maybe me- Memento. It's better than Pulp Fiction at nonlinear storytelling. Oh, wow. Uh, Memento is probably the only thing that comes even close. Um, it does it very, very well. Um, very, It's super clever. Um, mm-hmm. it, 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 I, was, I was very impressed with that. Um, the movie, the new movie that they're making, um, they're making the kid part first, the young like the young adult stories or whatever or not not even young adults just kids um and then if that's successful i think they're doing this doing a second movie where they're oh that makes sense um although i think that it's already probably greenlit at this point yeah Um, because that that movie's gonna do bonkers i i feel um but it, it is very much so like a a great like kids just go there's a monster they can't like really talk to parents about it because it'd be like kind of weird um yeah. and then it, it's set in this town called Derry, um dairy in maine um it and it, it's a great just setting for this story i've never seen a setting with so much like character and like such a like vibe to it mm. um it's very good and i want to back this up like I've never been into horror really that much. Um, and for the longest time, like, my grandpa's a huge Stephen King fan, but I was like, a book can't really scare you. Like, mm-hmm. I you can't really get scared by a book. Like, you can get creeped out and stuff, but you can't really be scared. And I still f- kind of feel that way. 
Like, yeah, you can't get jump scares or anything. Yeah, no. and it, But it can be creepy. Um, yeah. And so I've never really been a fan of horror. Stephen King does it very well. Like, mm-hmm. it, like I still say, like, it's very, like, ooh, like it, it's much easier to digest than a movie or a TV show or anything like that. Um, but it, it's still very good. And as someone that isn't really a horror fan, do, it does horror, like, very well. Well, you're not a horror. Are you a horror fan in general or just? No, no. No, not no, really. just not no. general. Okay. No, I'm. You know me. I'm like a bright, happy. Yeah, true. Like, like I, horror is not really my thing. I enjoy it uh, to a certain extent. At sometimes when it's done well, uh, Stephen King does it very, very well. Uh, it it's really good. But also, there's some times where I got really fed up with some of the dumb stuff Stephen King does. We're so like, you know how rap? It's like Kendrick Lamar will be rapping like about like yeah. politics and stuff like that, and then he's just like. Oh, but this girl's like super hot, and like we're about to like get it on. Like, I want her, like it, and like it just takes that weird deviation sometimes. Mm-hmm. Stephen King does that a lot. Like, like it, it's very perverse sometimes in like weird ways, and like I, I'm just gonna put it like there. There's weird stuff with little kids too. Interesting. Like pedophilia stuff. Um, there's one one like. I, I looked up, like, it later. Like, I looked up, like, what people thought of the book and stuff. There's one super controversial scene in that book mm-hmm. um, that's just, like, just bad. And yeah. there it's explained at, like, I get why it's in the book. It doesn't need to be. There's no point to it. It feels, like, I don't even know why it's in there. Like, it feels entirely unnecessary. Um it, it was there's a there's already a film adaptation of it i think it was a tv show um and they left it out um i do you want can i spoil no i don't yeah just spoil. i mean just spoil that part i mean i, I okay, doubt it's gonna okay. be in the movies so, or anything um so they, they there's this group of little kids and like they're they're all like fun they, they're all like 12 or something mm-hmm. they all like hang out or whatever and um there's one girl in the group and um at one point in the book they're lost uh-huh. um and they don't know where to go like it's really like they're done like they're done they're on their last string and i like it's tough for me to even say cuz it's just awful at su- at a certain point um the girl feels like she has to create an unbreakable bond between all of them to and show that she really oh loves them and they have like like an like there's an awful like just and like it's written con- it, kind of tastefully but they all just get it on and they're all 12 year olds they're all like i it's bad it's really bad what? yeah there's yeah. a 12 year old gangbang in this mo- in this book yeah what yeah why yeah and it doesn't happen until like 50 pages from the ending, 100 pages from the ending. And, like, at that point, like, it, it's just... And the wait, whole, wait, is this, like, has to do with the monster? Like, the monster did this, or...? At a... It is... There is some sort of... Explanation s- for it? And, 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 like, they're lost, and they need to... Cre- the whole... Throughout the book, they're... The only reason that they're successful against the monster is because of this... Uh, this bond they have between each other, this uh, mutual, like, just friendship, this hope, this... They are in it together, um, yeah. and that's kind of what helps them. And, like, it, it's a touching message, but then it's, like, they're lost. They're on their last leg, and then, like, they're lost. They won't be able to get out, and to amplify that sort of effect or whatever, they they all just get it on. And, like, it really, what? like, pissed me off, actually. Like, I've never this been... weird. S- I've never been so mad because like I have a love for these characters. Like I, yeah. I've re- already read I, at this point like a thousand pages, where I'm I'm falling in love with these characters. I, everything about it's great, and then they, like you just have to do that. Like it felt like some gross fan fiction. Like I yeah, was actually weird. like mad. Uh, I I still love the book. I think it's great. Um, but there are points where, uh, and that scene is not exclusive. There are parts where like. There, there's just a sentence or two where, like, every every so often where it's just, like, that wasn't really necessary. Like, uh-huh. I I don't really care for it. Um, and I don't know if Steve... I don't know why Stephen King kind of gets, aw- like, gets away with it. 
Like, the fact that you've never heard about it, and the fact that I had never heard about any of this before I read the book, like, like, it's kind of weird. Um, it's, uh, like, I feel like that's kind of a problem in rap as well, where it's like, they say some stuff that's like, eh, like, I guess you yeah, can say that. Like, it's yeah, kinda weird. that's... But, like, I, but I don't know. This is different, though. This is, like, a it story. Is. Like, like yeah. I'm never trying to throw away line, like, you know, offset talking about bitches and hoes than, you know, a 12 year old gangbang. Yeah. Uh, this is a bit different, Caleb. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. And okay, I, wait, yeah. okay. 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 Does this have to do? Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. I understand it's about this bond, but like, was this something that they explained? Like, the, the monster, like, is like coercing the women and no. the guy? No. And... No. Okay. That's weird then. And yeah, it felt completely out of place. It, yeah it was bad and i'll even i'll even say this it's after they beat the monster it, interesting I, they're little kids they do their thing with the monster and then they're going through these tunnels and they're lost and like the, the monster comes back because they're adults and so like there there's still something there but it's like so just bad and made me mad like i've i i love stephen king as an author i think he's really great at what he does i've read multiple of his books now um the dark tower series is awesome mm -hmm. but like reading that like i've never been so like and i i know it's entitled to think like come on you can't do that with my characters like yeah but you're taking these little kids and like like it's met like i i didn't like it they it, it sucks you can find lots of articles about it um be wary of spoilers i don't know how much you care about them um but it it it's weird um i hope that scene doesn't make it into the movie um and it's kind of weird that Steam King's kind of got gotten away with that. Caleb, um, it's like it, it's Caleb well written to a certain Caleb extent, but it's just and there's an explanation Caleb. for it, I guess, but it, it just feels out of place. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I it, great book. I I know it sounds somewhat negative at this point. Um. But like I had a great time with it. It's an, it's it does like it, it is the Caleb Scythoma. Like I love coming of age stories. Like it's Stranger Things and Goonies, but kind of darker. Um, but nonetheless, it like it takes that wrong turn and it it, it takes it hard. Like it, it it's bad. Um, great book. I'd recommend it, but it, it gets it, it, it's not without its faults. Roger. Hello. 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 Hey, sorry, I'm no, lagged because I was I was looking at a um thing, reading about it, trying to figure out if it was gonna be in the movie or not. Yeah, rumor has it that it's not gonna be. I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. Um, but yeah. Um. Yeah. Weird. Uh huh. Great book. Like I I like it and everything. I had a great time. Um, I, I, while you were, uh, looking that up, I said, like I said, it's a great, like, more mature, more dark Stranger Things, Goonies, mm -hmm. like, and I like it for that. It does it really well. And the non-linear storytelling is amazing, like, super clever, super well done. But, man, like, it took a wrong turn, and it's bad. It's just bad at that point. Um. Interesting. I'd still give it, like, a solid 9 out of 10, but. Okay. That's not that's fault. For sure, it's messed up. Yeah. Interesting. That's interesting. I've never heard about that. Um, yeah. That's interesting. I, I um, feel like a lot a good portion of that's because, like, people like it because of, like, they've seen Pennywise or stuff like that. Very, yeah. I doubt very few people have actually read the book and mm -hmm. gotten that far. Um, but, yeah, it, it's it's out there. Weird. I mean, <laughs> I've been playing player unknown Battlegrounds. That's a fun video game. That's a really fun video game. Um, I, I'm surprised that I, I mean, I, I always knew I would like something like this. I always wanted to play a game uh -huh. like this. Um, H1Z1, before that was DayZ. Um, mm -hmm. so I, I was very excited to get into this. My friends just kind of said, hey, buy it, it's 30 bucks, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. early, early, um, access, it's really great, and I played it, I had to play on low settings because my graphics card sucks and the game is super, super, super unoptimized. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, actually, the optimization that they had recently, uh, actually made the game run shittier for me. Um, which, oh, which is nice. weird, which is That's it's, nice. it's great, um, but it's fine. I'll be able to run it like high settings on my gaming laptop, which I'm very New excited laptop, about. Yeah. Um, but the game is fantastic. It is such a fun video game. Uh, even when you feel like, 
excuse me, when you feel like you're doing nothing in the game, and by nothing I mean you're just running from circle to circle, looting, and you don't even see a human being, the game is still fun. Because you have that tense feeling. Like, there's this... I can, Anything can happen. I can, yeah, I cannot explain to you. I think you need to get this game, by the way. I, 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 I yeah, I, I want to play it with you. I you need to play by this game because this, that is the perfect game for you and I to play. I would play this game every day Sweet. with you. I'm so serious, Caleb, because I think that you and I yeah. would have such a fun time with it. You please buy it. Like, if you have money right now, right. buy it today. Like, okay. we would have so much fun with it. We could play it tonight. Like, after this, we can play it. I don't okay. care. Like, we'd have so much fun because okay. I can't explain. I'll try to figure something I out. I can't explain to you the amount of excitement I have or sc- just. Just fear when you're you run up on a town, right? And first things first, yeah. you get scared because you're like, "Oh, is someone there?" Yada yada yada. Sometimes people are there, and that scares the shit out of you because you think that no one's there. But sometimes they aren't there, and you're like looting, you're having a fun time, and then you're talking to your friends, joking around, and then you hear a car in a distance, and you're like, "Shit, you hear that?" Yeah, I hear that. Okay, where's it going? It's yeah. It's okay. I think it's pulling here. Is it gonna go through? What is it doing? It's stopping. What do we mm-hmm. do? Do we stay in the rooms? Do we <laughs> assault this thing? Sometimes you assault it, you most likely die. But sometimes you do the thing where you close the door and you just lock yourself in a room. <laughs> and you just wait. You just wait for them to come. You close all the doors as possible so it makes it look like you weren't even there. And you just wait. And, like, that is the most terrifying thing in a video game. Like, it beats it beats a Silent Hill. Like, it beats just waiting for this person <laughs> to creep up on you. Sometimes they have their mics on and they're talking to you. If you really want to be a yeah. dick, you could you could go turn on your mic and be like, "Hello," and say dumb that, things. That's what I would do. That's, I would've, that's like, a fun when thing. When I'm playing Rust with my brother, like I just mess around. Hello, you would add like something like oh. that. That's funny. Like, but it's also terrifying. Like that that's that's a terrifying thing. But it's so rewarding when you pick them off. When you pick off two people and you get their loot, like. This is the most satisfying video game, and I've seen people like Justin, um, Mal- uh, McAl- um, shit, um, McElroy, Ma- whatever. Justin McAl, yeah. Ma- I don't know. I, I listened to all their podcasts, and I came and say the last name because of Greg. Yeah. Greg really screwed it up because you know, of the McElroy moment or whatever the hell he used to call it. Uh, like, I just yeah. screwed it up. It's not even how you say their name, and I'm just like, ugh. But um, but yeah, because he's he said like this game could be one of the best video games of all time. Like, it, it for sure could, because of that, like, the, the amount this of... This year's gonna be crazy for Game of the Year. Yeah, like, this is the most... has the best loot. It has all... Like, it is such a solid, solid video game. I've been playing uh, near a bit also, uh, Automata. Um, that's good. I need to play it... Lit. I need to play it a bit more. I mean, I'm really having a good time with it. The game runs like shit on PC. Um, like, absolute little garbage. Um, yeah. Like, terrible. I can't stress that enough. But I'm really having a good time with it. I need to play it a lot more. Um, but yeah, that's a really solid video game. Um, cool. uh, apparently, you have to finish the game three times. I heard more. Four times? I heard there are a lot of endings. Yeah, no, you have to I finish. I there's an A through Z ending. I, I know a lot of them are joke endings, from what I hear. Oh. But, but I think to get the full experience, like... I've heard four. Of... I've heard four. Okay. That's like the main experience. And okay. apparently, the game is only ten hours. Hmm. Okay. Each time, that's cool. so that's decent. So it's like a forty-hour game. Um, so I'm gonna try to finish the game. I, I just want to get past one ending. Yeah, like that's my whole thing. Like I never played these types these types of games. Like I never played Japanese games even. Like I, I that's mm-hmm. not my thing. That's never been my thing. So, yeah. but like I'm really enthralled in the combat, especially I think the combat's great. I think the exploration's great. Um, I think some of the um the map UI could be a lot better because it sucks trying to find where the mm-hmm. hell to go and manage your quests. Sometimes you're just like, what the hell am I supposed to do right now? Uh, that's the biggest thing. I think it has some great um, things, especially with um, there's no autosave, there's no saving in general. You have to find like a, like they take like, um, you know how Ubisoft has like um, the outposts or whatever. Uh, they basically have that, uh, but that's for saving, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very fun game. I'm having a good fun with that, but PUBG, man, PUBG is the, PUBG is the goat. That's the goat. Like that's 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 a game that I I, I really hope. I don't think it's going to go away in a while. Like I, I feel like this yeah. is something that I, that game is like, only going to go. And away. like with the desert map, holy shit, Caleb! I'm so yeah. excited. For that I desert saw map. it. It's Arizona. In a video is it game. really Arizona? Yeah, that that's Arizona. Oh my right god, there. I'm so excited. Like that. Oh god, I'm so excited. Sometimes it rains. Like that's fine. But I want more maps. Like that's. When when is the Arizona map? No idea. Out? I think they're still working on it. They're just they're just they're teasing it. Crap. But like man, like I love the updates. Like anytime there's an update, like everyone gets excited about it. It's just a good time. The game is really great. Um, 
How long does each match usually last, on average? On average, I mean, depends if you go from the front to the back. I mean, I mean, if you like live all the way, if you live all the way, yeah. if all the way to number one, like it could be thirty minutes. But have you ever gotten minutes. a chicken dinner? Yeah, I've gotten chicken dinner with friends. I've never got solo. I've gotten ninth place in solo. I think it's the highest okay. I've ever gotten. Um, Are there duos? Yeah, there's duos. Um, duos is the best. That's my favorite. Mode. I wanna, yeah, I want to run duos. Dude, duos is you. great because duos is like you have to be on the same level with the person. Okay. Like you really like like I have a friend of mine like him and I were just hanging out one night we're like let's play duos like him and I were just like we're just having a good time like when you get four people yeah. like you're just like too stressed out like it's just like uh -huh. people are like yelling at you oh drop here drop here you want to do yeah yeah I'm going over here like you have to be like when duos you're together with your friend like you're just like hanging out you you're like bros at the moment okay. and like if cool. one of you dies like it just feels terrible so yeah. yeah duos is the best way to play that game um but that's okay. a fantastic game yeah sweet yeah I can't wait to play yeah please get it. Uh, how long have we been recording? Uh, now we're in 22 minutes. <laughs> Want to stop? Yeah, we should stop. Um, okay. This has been Bonus Points episode 84. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this is edited to you. 85! 85. 85. Shit. Um, <laughs> and this will be to you uh, probably by Monday. Hopefully. Um, love you guys. Thank you so much. Caleb Saifamo, um is at Caleb underscore talks on the internet. Um, I'm at Raj Former, rajformer.com. Um, love you all. And uh, anything else you need to say? Um... Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm going to go pee. Bye-bye. <laughs>